So Steve Bignall about to get us underway here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre. The match between the Brisbane Bullets and the Newcastle Aussie Tavis Falcons. The Brisbane Bullets riding high towards the top of the National Basketball League this season. Last week they thrashed the Illawarra Hawks by 31 points and tipped out of bounds by James Bullock. The Falcons, of course, at the other end of the scale. They're way down the bottom after losing to Westside Melbourne last night. Firmly entrenched at the bottom of the ladder. This Brisbane side chock full of confidence, chock full of ability. And this man, Derek Rucker, who just passed off to Robert Sibley, is one of their superstars. Sibley goes for the drive, gets the two, and Jeff Mikulev says they count. And Sibley will go to the line to try and add the extras. Terry, uh, the Brisbane Bullets are riding in second place in the National Basketball League this year. Really have been one of the form teams, haven't they? They certainly have, uh, Mike. They've gone through... Uh a slump period, but uh, they've come back from that and uh, looking for this game to lead them into a game against Eastside Melbourne tomorrow. So this is very important. We'll see Robert Sibley's statistics there, and he puts the one point away. Full, Full court, court press. press. Straight away from the Brisbane Bullets. Peter Hill with the ball now for the Falcons. A couple of older maidens to uh, the two American imports from the Falcons coach, Ken Coldenite, James Bullock and Greg Lazard. Ship up, or uh, we might start to look elsewhere. A little bit unfair, I think, on James Bullock because he has been one player for the Falcons this year that has tried in every game that he's gone out. He had the shot there, couldn't make it. Andre Moore grabs the rebound for Brisbane. Bullock in there fighting. He only knows one way to go, and that's fight and fight to the end. Rucker with the ball. Nine from 12 from the three-point line last week. Hands on, and we'll go to the line and shoot a couple. Yes, uh, Chris Steele gets the foul there, and uh, that's going to be a, a big job to uh, try and stop this man. Well, we saw last time down, Terry, we saw Chris Steele get the ball in low post position on Rucker. He has the height advantage, and... Uh, I thought Chris should have taken him on there and put some pressure on him, but uh, he elected to make the pass. Having a look at Derek Rucker's stats. Yes, looking here, he's played 18 games, averaging 35.8 a game. That's fantastic. 82% uh, from the free throw line. Very good percentage. Three-point percentage is excellent as well, 45%. And he's had a high-point match of 48 points. And he just makes the two there, so he improves his 82% average slightly. Peter Hill trying to double-team Leroy Loggins and also Derek Rucker. Michael Johnson. Leroy Loggins, of course, uh, talks up a milestone tonight too. He equals the record of Larry Senstock at 208 games for the Brisbane Bullets. A marvellous competitor over many, many seasons and one of the nicest players you'd meet on a basketball court or off the court anywhere in Australia. He certainly is, uh, Mike, as we see the foul there on Derek Rucker and Peter Hill will go to the line. Dave Ankeny, I suppose if we look back over the time of the National Basketball League, uh, Leroy Loggins' mind, uh, name will come up uh, for many, many years. Yes, well, unfortunately, I can remember a game against Brisbane probably about 10 years ago when I was playing, and uh, the last stage is uh, he stole the ball off me and we lost the game, so I certainly won't forget him. That was when he was quick, though, Dave. Uh, but he's a smart player. He anticipates, and uh, that's what make, makes a good player in this game, the anticipation, and that's what he's so very good at. Sibley. Looking inside, more inside the paint, Sibley with a shot, just rolls it off the hand for two. And the bullet's already out by five. That's Robert Sibley's uh, favourite move, close to the basket, and uh, takes that extra step. Sibley wouldn't be too happy with the Australian selectors from leaving him out of the side to go to the Goodwill Games. And he want to make every post a winner now to uh, get in the side for Barcelona and repress his claims for National League selection. Lazard, short, more with a rebound. Outlet quickly to Rucker. Rucker looking inside to Sibley, goes outside to Leroy Loggins, can't make it, Lazard taps it away, but Moore will get the rebound, no, it comes off Loggins to Bullock, Loggins gets it back, few mistakes there by both players, and of course the Brisbane players will be finding it a little bit chilly down here in Newcastle, nice sunny day up in Brisbane today, and, uh, coach Brian Curl said they were absolutely freezing that's when right. they walked well, the stadium. Six degrees uh, at the moment, Mike, so that's pretty cool, no air conditioning. Well, that could be possibly one of the reasons Brisbane started out in the full court press. He wants to get his players warmed up and uh, get their minds on the task because it is very, very difficult to come out here on a cold night and uh, the shooting touch is just not there sometimes. Greg Fox, good pressure on Peter Hill. Yes, Brisbane applying uh, very, very good defensive pressure, making it hard for Newcastle to penetrate. Christel takes on Rucker, makes it two. <laughs> Derek Rucker now. 9-4, the Brisbane Bullets lead. Inside, Moore takes on Lazard. Moore, plenty of space in there, just rolls it away for a good two. Peter Hill now. Takes it out towards Michael Johnson's flank. Gets it to Johnson, in actual fact, throws it straight past him, and the Bullets will inbound. Yeah, that's no teamwork at all. Uh, players have got to create a lead when you haven't got the ball. Move around so you've got some open spaces for the guard to get the ball into. 
Good defence by Brisbane. Rucker now. Got around more and Sibley. Sibley with the screen. Gets it inside to Sibley. Good teamwork. Gets the two and will go to the line. Excellent Good teamwork. pass there from Rucker. He knew, they knew what, they, what was happening there and uh, Sibley was looking for it. Excellent pass from Rucker. Easy two points. Let's, Let's have a look at that again. You yeah, see the action replay here again with uh, Sibley setting a good screen, rolling inside, and uh, once he gets in that paint area, the defence in the wrong position gets the foul. Sibley makes the extra. They already lead by 10, and there's been less than four minutes played in this opening term. Peter Hill with the ball. They double, try and double team at any occasion. Bullock now having to do the legwork to get around the point guard, Fox. Gets it into his own territory. Gets it out to Peter Hill now, to Michael Johnson, his first real touch of the ball. Off uh, Rucker's hands, back to Bullock. Bullock throws a shocking pass. Sibley picks up the crumbs. Fox out quickly to Loggins. Loggins with a two-point shot. Can't make it, and Lazard with a big rebound. He gets it quickly out to uh, Bullock. Two on one, two-point shot. He can't make it. Rucker gets the rebound. Coast to coast stuff there for uh, 30 seconds, but neither team able to convert. Yes, uh, Brisbane's defence causing Newcastle all sorts of problems at the moment. Loggins to Rucker, three-point attempt from a long way out, can't make it, that's bought his average. Three, uh, nine from 12 last week against Dillawarra, incredible stuff. Peter Hill to Michael Johnson, couple of three-point shooters for the Falcons. Johnson inside the paint, can't make it, will go to the line to shoot a couple though. 7.44 left in this first term, the Bullets by 10. So Michael Johnson steps up to the line now. Have a look at his career stats. Yes, uh, great record. 5,000 uh, points in the National League, averaging 23 points. And you can see down the bottom of the screen there, 80% uh, from the free throw line. Missed with the first one there. Makes That's the second. second. By the end of his career, Mike Johnson will be one of the all-time uh, leading scorers for sure because he's still fairly young as, as a basketballer, 26, 27, so he still has a few years left. Andre Moore to Rucker. Props, shoots, can't make it. Lazar, can he get the rebound? Did well, the big fella then. Ropes it in. Peter Hill now tries to break out quickly. Chris Steele was in space, but he dished out to Bullock. Johnson calls for the ball. Pushes off Loggins. Got it back to Lazar. Out to Bullock. Bullock with the two-point attempt. He can't make it. Peter Hill, good rebound. Men in numbers inside of James Bullock. Better play by the Falcons. Good pass, Peter Hill. Good basket, James Bullock. Yes, excellent assist there by Peter Hill. Quick pass into Bullock. But watch that again. Uh, Peter Hill with the ball. And they uh, see Bullock in the paint area. Nice quick cut to the basket. And uh, Andre Moore couldn't do anything about it. Sibley inside the paint. Easy drive to the basket. Another two. They lead by nine at 16-7. That's ten points to Sibley, and uh, really the defence hasn't got any idea of stopping uh, Robert Sibley. Well, we see Grant Kruger coming in, and uh, I'm sure that he'll come in for James Bullock. James with two fouls really puts him in a bad position defensively. He can't really defend. So he just knocked away a sensational two-point shot off the glass. So he's starting to find his range a little bit. That's the problem, Dave, isn't it? You take Bullock out and uh, the offensive uh, effort uh, drops off substantially. Yes, yeah, certainly does, but uh, credit to Brian Crow. He knows that James Bullock has two fouls, so he's attacking him. So, you know, that's the way the game should be played. If you see someone in trouble, go at him. Chris Steele with his second personal foul, taking on Derek Rucker, and uh, that's a big task tonight. Double substitution, Grant Kruger and uh, Peter Harvey coming in, replacing Bullock and Steele. 6.15 left in the first term, the Bullets 16-9. Yes, and Kruger's got the uh, job on Sibley, so we can see if he can uh, hold him out of that paint area as Rucker takes the uh, drive, but Peter Harvey coming around behind, gets the foul. Good to see Coach Cole mixing it up. We see uh, Chris Steele, who's 6-5, guarding Rucker, and he did a fairly good job there in the first uh, six minutes of the game. Now he's put a little quick man on him in Peter Harvey. So he's, he's mixing up a little bit tonight on Rucker, which i like to see. That's uh, five team fouls, so it's a uh, one-on-one -one situation. So Derek Rucker at the line, 100% from there so far tonight, three from three. And he'd be lapping up this attention that he's receiving at the moment. He's probably a little bit smarter than some of the young kids there who are just learning the game, Terry. Certainly is, and uh, come here with big wraps and uh, certainly produce the goods right throughout the years and see Brisbane setting up this full court press they want to put some pressure on Newcastle see if they'll crack early in the game and they do Gary Fox gets the easy intercept Rucker gets the rebound 
Fox run a little bit of pressure there. Good uh, defence by the Falcons. Gets it back to Sibley. Sibley takes on Lazard, will he? Can't make it, Lazard. Good defence there by Lazard. Hill now. Gets it out to Grant Kruger. Grant Kruger intercepted there by Leroy Loggins. Dishes off to Rucker. And uh, gets the charging foul as Leroy Loggins. Yes, uh, I thought there was a good call there by uh, referee, referee Mikalev. Uh, Peter Hill got uh, good position and... Uh, that's Loggins' second personal. So Peter Hill, three-point attempt. Oh, just slips out. Moore with a big rebound. Five and a half minutes left in the first term. Rucker with the ball now. Three-point attempt. Can't make it short again. Kruger gets a hand on it. Peter Harvey grabs it. So well done, Peter Harvey. Michael Johnson with the ball. Bangs into Leroy. Leroy was holding his ground. And as a word to uh, Jeff Mikalev. Peter Harvey now goes for the dry ball away. Can he that's, make it? That's a charge. Going into no man's land there, Peter Harvey, uh, in amongst the tall timber. See, ha had no chance of scoring from that position. Good hustle by Leroy Loggins there. Uh, he tried to get the offensive foul at half court. Let's have a look back. at the Leroy uh, Loggins one with Michael Johnson. Leroy just about in position there, and I yeah. think that was fair enough that uh, yeah, the, the call should have gone the other way. Well, yeah, but I think a little bit of play acting there, Mike. A bit of overacting uh, probably took the referee out of it, I'd say. Andre Moore with two. Brisbane doing it easy at the moment, Dave. Yes, uh, the, the press is very effective. And one thing about a press, you don't have to steal the ball as long as you get the other team uh, upset. And Brisbane certainly have done it to Falcons. If they get the ball over halfway, they're still out of their pattern. So good ploy by the coach, Brian Curl. So checking out Greg Lazard and Peter Hill coming into the game, James Carr and James Bullock. No sign of Neil Turner. Kruger, Johnson, thought about the three-point attempt, two-point attempt now off the glass, makes it. Fox with the ball from Brisbane, 2011, the Brisbane Bullets lead. Important weekend for them. They'd like to uh, get a big advantage here early so they could play their second stringers, I should imagine, Terry. Yes, well, obviously, uh, big game tomorrow night, but uh, I think they won't be worrying about... Uh who they play at this stage, they're looking to get on top of Newcastle and I think at this stage they, they are right on top. Peter Harvey gets around Rucker, Rucker doing it fairly easily at the moment. Pass inside to Michael Johnson, overshoots, James Bullock goes down on a uh, patch of uh, sweat, Robert Sibley knocks the ball out of bounds and the Falcons will inbound. 4.17 left in the first term, the Bullets doing it fairly easily, 20 points to 11. Michael Johnson inbounds to Peter Harvey. Back to Michael Johnson. He's intended by Fox. Screen set by Kruger. He was on the move too. James Bullock in there with a great offensive rebound. Johnson shot well short, but Bullock in there and got the two points. And Darren Breeding checking in for the Brisbane Bullets. Let's have a look at that again. It's a nice long shot there by uh, Michael Johnson that uh, doesn't even hit the basket. But James Bullock, realising the shot was on, was in good position to take the rebound. You can see the defence very close to him there. and uh, Tremendous anticipation by Bullock. That's right. Rucker now. Good matchup of Peter Harvey very quick, Derek Rucker very quick. And this will be a good test for Peter Harvey. I like Peter Harvey. He's a very competitor and he's very quick. So we're going to see a good battle here. Well, Andre Moore and Grant Kruger going at it at, at Hammer and Tongs. And uh, Kruger gets the foul. Moore really pushing off him there in the end, but uh, Kruger got the foul. They're in the one-on-one -on -one situation, Brisbane, so Moore will go to the line and, to try and uh, get a couple of extra as coach Ken Cole calls timeout. 3.46 left in the first term. The Bullets by seven, 20 points to 13. Look at the matchups there between the two teams, and uh, you can see that uh, uh, Brisbane have a, a good advantage in most areas in rebounding. We can see that uh, in 1990, Newcastle picking up 44 rebounds to Brisbane's 39, so that's, they're doing quite well in that department. Three throw percentage, Newcastle 68 to Brisbane 75. Shooting percentage, the bottom left hand of your screen, 
Newcastle only shooting 46% and Brisbane 53 and that's the big difference. Three point shooting, 41% excellent by Brisbane as well. Dave Ankeny, the Brisbane Bullets have a seven point lead as we see Andre Moore go to the line. Now, what did Brian Kerr have to say in that timeout? Well, offensively, he feels they're a little bit impatient. They're not really uh, looking for the right shot inside. Defensively, he wants them to be more aggressive, which is uh, hard to believe because they've really come out in a full court press. But uh, he feels they're still a little bit uh, easy on defense. So the full court press again from the uh, successful basket. Bullock now had to do the job of the point guard. Brings the ball down, gets it to Kruger, moves it around to James Carr, back to Kruger. Kruger trying to get around Sibley, gives it over to Johnson. He's at the free throw line now, has to throw it up, not successful, but they scrap it near the Falcons, but the Bullets come up with it. Loggins now breaks out quickly, gives it off to Moore, off the glass, two points. Yes, nice uh, quick fast break there by the Brisbane Bullets. Ten points to um, Andre Moore. Oh. Can Sibley dive on it? No, Bullet gets the ball back. Really pressured the Falcons and they're throwing some ordinary passes. Harvey settles it down to James Bullock, to Michael Johnson. The big fellas are playing right at the top and the little fellas are having to get inside to do the hard work. Good basket, Peter Harvey. 24-15. Rucker with the ball now. Pushes off Peter Harvey. Peter Harvey never in position. There's the shooting percentage with the Falcons shooting 45. Bullets uh, maintaining a good 50%. Peter Harvey never in position there, and Derek Rucker will go to the line to shoot one and one. So Rucker, four from four. Yeah, it's looking at his uh, percentage there, 82% from the line, so he doesn't miss too many. But really, uh, when you look at that three-point percentage, Mike, 45%, a lot of players uh, only have a two-point shooting average of around about 45%, so uh, that's excellent shooting. He's six from six. Full court press again. James Carr breaks out. Gets around Loggins. Johnson in space. Rucker intercepts. He looked to have a little bit of a walk there too. Rucker gets around James Carr. Goose step. David Campisi drives oh, yeah. for the basket. Brilliant move by Rucker. And Dave, that's the first time that we've seen him really inject himself into the game by G's quick. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. That's a great play. He runs down and intercepts the ball What's down the other end when it looked like the Falcons had a fast break on. And then he drives up the other end, throws a couple of moves, drives to the hoop and takes on the big men. Now he's at the foul line, so I think we've seen what a great player he is just in that uh, few seconds there. Seven from seven. And they're out by 12. So Brian Curls, talk at the timeout is certainly working. They've steadied a little bit and taking good options now. Hill back in the game. Michael Johnson. And they're pressuring the Falcons into running the ball. Johnson in the paint gets two. Well, that's exactly what the Falcons need to do against the press. When you, when you play against the press, you need to be positive and you need to attack. You can't sort of uh, play hesitant. And uh, that was good to see Mike go to the hoop. hoop. They had the advantage there. And get the easy two. Moore. Lazard in close proximity. Loggins with the ball now, calling the shots. Out to Breeding. Gets it inside to Sibley. Better defence by Bullock. Back to the top to Breeding, to Rucker. Thought about the three-point attempt, got inside for two and makes it. There's good move of the ball though by Brisbane, very patient. Kept the ball moving. Under two minutes to go in this first term. We've seen 47 points already scored in this first term. 30 to the Bullets, 17 to the Falcons. Bullock with the ball. Gets under Sibley, can't make it. Kruger in there with a strong rebound and makes two. Yes, Grant Kruger going to the boards hard there and uh, need a lot of that tonight. Grant Kruger certainly has improved in, uh, his play. He's really gone to the boards hard. And uh, last few games, he's really shown a lot of aggression inside. It's a travel call there on uh, Derek Rucker. Bullock calling the shots. 122 left in this first term. Lazard. Bullock. Inside to Kruger. Kruger pushes off yes. Rucker. Good move, Grant Kruger for another two. Got around the big fella pretty easy that time and Andre Moore, Dave. Yes, but uh, I'm not sure. There might have been a switch there and it looked like uh, actually Rucker had him there. So good play by the Falcons to take advantage of that situation. Leap and Leroy gets two. 
First two of the match for Loggins. Breeding gets the foul this time, but they're not in the bonus situation, so the Falcons will inbound. One minute to go here in the first quarter, and uh, Falcons will need a basket or two here just to close the gap a little bit as they trail by 11. Michael Johnson. Lazard tries to set the screen. Gets it out to Bullock now. Bullock, oh, Sibley all over him. Will it drop? It does. And James Bullock will go to the line to try and add the extra. And they get that uh, gap back below double figures. Here it is again. What's the action here with uh, Michael Johnson? Long pass over to Bullock. Takes a little step. Nice little fake. Got uh, Robert Sibley in the air and uh, fouled in the act of shooting. The ball went down, so a bonus play. James Bullock's record there. And makes the extra. Not renowned for his shooting from the three-point line, but very effective on that occasion with Newcastle set out on the full court. Pressing defence with Kruger uh, pushing Loggins. Loggins, quick step around him. Loggins now. Tries to get around Bullock. Cops up short. Moore gets the ball. Falls away jumper. Reject by Greg Lazard. Gets it back outside to Loggins. Loggins, three-point attempt. Makes it. Well, Leroy's been uh, around too long to take too many backward steps in this game. And he is one of the most sensational players I've ever seen. James Bullock drives, can't make it. Good rebound by Sibley off Lazard's hand. Good call by Steve Bignall. We've got nine seconds left in this uh, first quarter. As drink goes everywhere in the Hamilton Printing Centre box. Plenty of time. Four now. Eight seconds. Has the long three-point bomb. Well short. Rucker nearly came up with it. And the foul is uh, going to be called. And they're in the bonus situation. So the Falcons will go to the line to get one and one. Poor shot there, a poorer foul there by uh, uh, Andrew Moore taking the shot too early. Yes, sir, I'd agree with that. Uh, that was a great opportunity for Brisbane to uh, get that last shot and perhaps extend the lead to 13. Uh, instead, they've turned the ball over, made a silly foul, and it gives New Newcastle a chance to get back to nine points. James Bullock at the line now. Makes the first. Looking at uh, Falcons' uh, shooting record. 75% from the free throw line tonight, which is excellent. The bullet's 100%. You can't do any better than that. James Bullock makes the second. Three seconds they've got for a shot. Out it goes to Breeding. Breeding's going to have to throw it up as long as right over the top. And here at quarter time of the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre, the Brisbane Bullets 35 lead the Newcastle Aussie Tapes Falcons 26. You want those point scorers, Reg, for the quarter? Or we've got uh, Bullock for Newcastle. He's got 11, and uh, there's three of the Brisbane guys on 10. So I don't know who you want to go with. Rucker's got 10. Yes, yep. Derek, Derek Rucker's got uh, 10. Yeah, so, so is Moore and Sibley, so I don't know whether... You only want to use one, don't you? Just use Rucker at 10. Just that chair. Just here. 
can I just pinch that chair? No, just that chair. Oh, sorry. So Steve Bignall gets us underway. Moore gets the tap out to Leroy Loggins. Fox back in the game. James Carr starting for the Falcons. Fox gets it out to Rucker. Gets around Peter Hill. Has the shot. Won't drop. Peter Hill gets the foul. Yes, uh, in the act of shooting, so I get two shots. A little bit unlucky there because uh, he didn't have any, uh, any action in the play there. Derek Rucker... Uh, 18 games, averaging 35.8. Tonight he's got 8 from 8 from the line, 100%. Oh, oh. one. Keep one that up, Terry. <laughs> one of the leading scorers for Brisbane in the first quarter. 10 points with uh, Andre Moore and Rob Sibley. And we see the Brisbane Bulldogs still coming out with their full court press. So Coach Carroll, we're all happy with the way they've done it. And we see Neil Turner. Exactly what I said earlier, that uh, if they're going to... Uh, beat the press, they've got to go down and be positive. And that was a good pass inside. Neil Turner confidently took the shot. And that makes the press uh, not so effective. McGraw. Loggins. They've made some changes, the Bullets. Loggins now out to Fox. McGraw pushes off Turner. Big reject by Neil Turner. James Carr now. Loggins will get that. Rucker picks it up. What about the three-point attempt? Into Moore. And gets over the sky lab of Neil Turner and gets two. Bullock now. Tries to jink his way around Loggins off the glass, gets two. Come out, come out a little bit more fired up, only eight points the difference, 38-30. Obviously Ken Cole's going to change his players uh, regularly, Dave. Yes, he made a few changes there and the first thing he did at timeout was make sure they had their assignments correct, which is uh, very, very important. And also, we're going to see the Falcons pressing here. When they score off the free throw, or, or perhaps when they score, they're going to be full court pressing. They're three not going to give away anything. James Bullock, three points. Only five points in it. That's the shooting percentage with uh, Falcons uh, lifted their shooting percentage to 53% and Bullets 55. Rebounds, uh, advantage to the Falcons, 10 to 6. Top scorer for uh, the Falcons in the first half is James Bullock. And as we mentioned for Brisbane, uh, Rucker, Moore and Sibley with 10 points each. So Brisbane caught inside the uh, paint for longer than three seconds. The Falcons get the ball back. Peter Hill now just checks where he was standing regarding the three-point line. Bullock taking on McGraw, tapped away. Foul on McGraw. That'll be in the act of shooting, so uh, two free shots. So the Falcons have certainly come out fired up in the second term. They had less than two minutes and they've certainly closed the gap. James Bullock, uh, as you can see there. Oh no, that's the team shooting percentages. Falcons in 1990 shooting 68%. Uh, tonight 85. And Bullock's keeping up that uh, big improvement in the figures tonight. 17 points to James Bullock. Throws down another one. I suppose, Dave, if you ever uh, thought about your uh, job being on the line, the best way to do it is come out and fire up, and James Bullock certainly doing that tonight. Yes, he certainly is, and uh, actually I'm quite surprised that uh, he was under scrutiny because he's had a very good season, in my opinion, and uh, he's had last week's play his only bad game, and a uh, real competitor, James Bullock, so it would be good to see him have a good one tonight. Fox. To Rucker. Good defense by the Falcons. They're really denying everything, and there we see Neil Turner picking up a loose one there. Does he get a block uh, shot for off the knee? Fox inside to Moore. Swivels, shoots. It'd have to be off the glass. It's a good shot. Gets two. James Carr now. They try and break out quickly again, although Fox moved up on Carr very quickly. Hill gets it to Johnson. Inside to Peter Hill's a great move. Big reject by Andre Moore is a beauty. Loggins picks it up and gives it back to Rucker, and they just set, settle play down a bit. Well, Andre Moore has certainly shown his class uh, early in this game. He's he shot the ball very, very well. So some very nice moves. And just last time down the floor, we've seen him with a beautiful block there to help out on his teammate. 
inside from Rucker to Moore and he jams it away. He's certainly a talented uh, player. 16 points in the game already. 204 centimetres of muscle. Johnson to Turner. Back to Johnson. Tries to get around Loggins. Throws it up. It won't drop for him. Tapped away by James Bullock. Good call. 8.42 left in this second term. The Bullets by 7. 42.35. Paul Rees and uh, Robert Simley into the game. Greg Fox with the ball. Rucker. Simley comes out to lend him a hand. That's the second one tonight. Hand caused by the defensive pressure there by Peter Hill. So good work, Peter. He's not. Uh, Stop giving Derek Rucker any free movement and that causes travel. Now we see a foul on Derek Rucker trying to get the ball back again. And that's his second personal. Watch the replay here again with Peter Hill bringing the ball down. Now Derek Rucker just coming in your picture you can see getting underneath and actually hitting Hill on the on the leg. Taking the advantage to get the ball so that was a foul situation. Good call by the referee. James Bullock now. Sibley taps it away. They turn it over again the Falcons. Rucker now runs it at the defence. Chris Steele coming in behind him, uh, calls, causes the foul. Uh, it's his third, third personal. Well, I couldn't see one there, Terry. I'd like to have a, a look at the uh, replay there. It certainly looked like Peter, um, sorry, Chris Steele had position there. It didn't look like he really reached in and made any real contact. Fox in the oh, ball, yes. into uh, Rucker, yeah. picks it up brilliantly for the two. Great pass from Fox there. Excellent. Chris Dill all the way to the basket, he gets two. Good stuff by Peter Hill. Peter Hill very keen to do a job on Rucker tonight and he moved out in defence on him very quickly after still scored that basket. Fox with the ball now, he's got to bring it back down the court for the Bullets. Inside to the number nine of Paul Rees. Yes, a young player, uh, probably got a big future in the game. Loggins, Sibley. Swivels around in there for plenty of time. Reese, can he get it? No, he can't. Taps it up. Will it drop? Lazard finally comes up with it, but he had a foot into uh, over the baseline, and the bullets will inbound. Dave, we were talking about this before the start of the game. But when you have a look at the Falcons starting five, they've got three excellent players, or good players, steady players. The bullets have got four. Then it's a youngish sort of bench too. So if they start to get into foul trouble, could be in a bit of strife. Well, I'm sure that if you talk to the coaches, they would probably disagree with, with that, Mike. They probably think that their bench is quite good. But, um, yeah, just looking on paper means nothing in, in sport, as uh, we all know. It's the players get out there and have a go. That's the main thing. Bully drives all the way himself. Will it drop? It won't. Gets the charge. That'll be Bullock's uh, third personal foul. So, uh, good defensive position there by uh, Leroy Loggins. We'll watch the action replay here again. And we couldn't, uh, Loggins looked to be there for quite some time, having defensive position. Exactly what the Falcons didn't want, James Bullock's having a very good first half, they didn't want him to pick up three. And I would suspect, knowing Brian Curl, that they're going to go to Sibley now, who uh, James Bullock is guarding. So, if the ball doesn't go inside to Robert Sibley on this occasion, I'll be quite surprised. Rucker, three-point attempt, can't make it. Reese tries to get the rebound. Lazard picks it up, taps it back to James Carr. Harvey checking in for Peter Hill. Chris Steele with the ball. Lazard tapped away by Reese, but he picks it up again. Lazard gives it off to Bullock. Bullock in the paint, got around Sibley very well and slams it away for two. Yes, that was very athletic. Uh, great move there by James Bullock. A little swivel turn. Fox. Watch the action the replay Loggins. here again and uh, just swiveled around uh, Rob Sibley, made sure that no one was going to stop him and dunk the ball. Rucker with the ball, Reese trying to set the screen for him, Fox quickly to Loggins, still moves out on Loggins, Loggins forced to take the shot, can't make it, Bullock in there with a strong rebound, they run it out again the Falcons, Bullock having to do the leg work from end to end at the moment, James Carr just set his things down, Lazard calling for it inside, Harvey at the top of the key, back to Carr. Carr with a three-point attempt, can't make it. The Falcons will come up with it eventually. James Bullock does. A trail by five, the Falcons. Good second term for them. Lazard off to Harvey. And James, James Carr, I was watching that uh, silly foul on the screen. 
went in and uh, pushed the uh, defensive player out of the way. Coach Ken Cole in picture. Sporting the little ponytail tonight, uh, Coach Ken Cole with the new stubble of beard. Arrived at the stadium in flamboyant fashion tonight in a Mexican honcho and a 10 gallon hat. It's one thing you can, can't say about Coley that he's not, not loud. Reese now drives to the basket, coming. Lazard up over the top. Johnson finally picks it up. Harvey now dances out to Carr. Back to Michael Johnson. Paul Reese not in good position, and Johnson draws the foul on Reese. That'll be a shooting foul, too, in the act of shooting. So uh, Brian Cool calls a halt to these proceedings. He wants to have a chat with his troops. We've got 5.28 left in the first half. The Bullets by 5, 44 39. Now let's start working hard on this offensive end as well. Reese, you got 31. Lee, you're still on, on Michael Johnson. All right, you two guys sort out the guards. Now get up. I want a hundred on a made and a 75 on a miss now. We start pushing up on the defense. Let's go, let's go, let's get go, some go, intensity. Go, go, go. Now, come on, fellas. Go on through the motions. Brian, Brian Curl uh, organising his defences there. 100, uh, they're called 175. And obviously, if uh, Newcastle score the, uh, the foul shot, uh, Brisbane will go into a full court pressing defence. Rebounds, Falcons 17 to the Bullets 7. A rather amazing statistic that. Well, it's helped to turn the score around, Mike, hasn't it, in this uh, quarter? They've rebounded and uh, rejected the ball very well. Michael Johnson. One from two. Six points for Michael Johnson. One of those players that had a uh, big impact at the start of this term, Terry Neil Turner. He's had a couple of minutes of play. Back on the bench. Tapped away by James Carr. Harvey's, he got the pace to get around. Fox does so, throws it up. Great basket, Peter Harvey. And they get it back within two. Ben Cole strutting and prancing down the sideline. He'd like to see his young team perform well tonight. And they're certainly turning it on in their second term. And uh, offensive foul there called on uh, Robert Sibley. Terry, the foul there was on uh, oh, Reece, number nine, Reese. There Reece on the for a blocking foul. All oh, right. And uh, this gives the Falcons an excellent opportunity here to uh, either tie the game up or possibly go into the lead. Harvey to Johnson. Screen set by Lazard. Back to Lazard now. He takes on Andre Moore. Great athleticism, but he can't drop the two. Rucker gets around Michael Johnson fairly comfortably. Hill, uh, Harvey now in attention. Rucker props, shoots, short. Picked up by Lazard, tapped away by Sibley. Finally, James Carr gets both hands on the ball. They try to double team him, but he gets around him. He's got Peter Harvey in support now. Oh. Intercepted by Leroy Loggins. He'll jam this. Oh, and a big intentional foul by Peter Harvey. Yes, considered dangerous play by the referee. We watch the action replay again and with the uh, poor pass there by Peter Harvey, intercepted by Leroy Loggins. And you'll see Harvey come over here and uh, really no chance of stopping him. And uh, Loggins in the air, so it's considered dangerous play. Watch the replay here again. And uh, Harvey, on the right hand side of the picture, coming through, really just running into him. And the scores for the first, so uh, certainly a deliberate foul. So Leroy Loggins dropped the first. 261 games, points, 6,735, 25.8. That is some record, isn't that it? That is some record. And what great anticipation we saw on that last deal. That's, uh, that's a sign of a, a very smart, very coy basketballer. He, he saw that pass come in probably two seconds before it was even thrown. Rucker inside of Sibley. Got it up, couldn't drop the basket. Sibley missed with the, uh, the easy shot and uh, in the rebound situation, pushing foul. 4.14 left in the first half. The Bullets by four, 
So James Carr going to the line. Uh, Brisbane now in uh, the bonus situation as well as the Falcons. James Carr will shoot one and one. Throws up the first, oh, overshoots, shit. simply gets the easiest of rebounds. Uh, it's surprising the Falcons didn't have a second rebounder in there on that one, and uh, you don't see that too often. Fox. Good pressure by the Falcons. They look really keen tonight. They've pulled this back. I suppose that's what you get for playing a top side. Uh, often you perform against the uh, better sides, more so than you do against the lesser lights. Good move by Loggins and Sibley. And Lazard jams it on the glass. A bounce off uh, Sibley's back, I thought, but it was over the baseline. And the Bullets will rebound. Let's have a look at this yes, magnificent uh, athlete again. This is Sibley looking like he's got two points. Uh, the scorer's just got to put it down. but uh, And uh, on its upward flight, the referee's ruled. And uh, I thought it was a good ruling. I would like to see them uh, call these goaltendings. How do you say, Dave, down there? Well, it's pretty hard to tell if you don't see the old replay. Uh, but I thought that was a good block, and uh, good luck to Greg Lazard. He got away with that one. Rucker. Heavy work between uh, Lazard and Moore. Sibley now gets it back out to Loggins. There's plenty of heavy body contact going on down there. Loggins to Moore, throws the pass back to Loggins, he throws it off the glass, uh, really a low percentage shot. Moore now gets it back to Loggins, he won't miss that one. Excellent pass there from Moore. Looked like he was taking the jump shot there, which he which he did have, but uh, very unselfish pass inside to Leroy for an easy two. Let's have a look at that again. Yes, uh, Loggins uh, takes the shot. This is back to uh, Andre Moore. And uh, you can see Leroy Loggins uh, open on the baseline, makes the two. At the other end, Peter Hill gets two points. And a very good assist there from Mike Johnson, who, who drew two players, dished it off unselfishly to Peter Hill for an easy layout. Bullock doing a very good job on Sibley at the moment. Loggins takes on Chris Dill, gets a great two points, Leroy Loggins. Goes into double points, 11 points. Bullock now having to bring the ball down the court himself. Everyone else had bolted. Takes on Sibley, gets it to Chris Dill. Back to Bullock. Bullock taking on Sibley. Gets inside the paint. That's yeah. a brilliant pass. Yes, he does that so well. 22 points to James Bullock. He's the high scorer for the game. Yeah. That's his favourite move, James Bullock. And I said it last week, he's the best man one-on-one -on -one down in the baseline. And uh, Brisbane let him go there. Rucker, props. Can he make the two? He does so. They stretch their lead by another two. They lead by six now. Peter Hill taking on Rucker. Hill all the way for the basket. That's a brilliant basket for Peter Hill. Under two minutes left in this first half. Yes, I think uh, the Brisbane defence was taken a little bit by surprise there with Hill going all the way end to end. And made it a good lap. Certainly can't uh, complain about the quality of this game, Dave Ankeny. No, and I'll tell you what, that was great to see Peter Hill be very, very positive on that and go right to the hall. Brilliant defence by Greg Lazard that time on Andre Moore. They get it back, they can close this gap even further, the Falcons. One and a half minutes left in the first half. Bullock with the ball. A little bit rattled the bullets. Johnson, Lazard. Nothing to lose, the Falcons. But the Brisbane Bullets desperately keen to get that double chance. Lazard in the paint gets two, and they only trail by two, the Falcons. That's uh, Greg Lazard's first two points of the match. And he's had a good defensive game and they've uh, been working hard. Let's have a look at the margin. The Newcastle... Uh, Brisbane uh, led by 13 when the score was 28-15 uh, to 15 by Brisbane. So only two points the difference now, but Moore goes to the line to uh, try and add a couple. There's one minute and one second left in this first half. It's been very entertaining. The Falcons have really come back in this uh, second term. Moore misses with the first. That's pressure. Two from three, more. Makes that one. So three-point gap. Minute to go. Chris Dill nearly turns it over. Bullock did well to uh, pick it up. Takes on Fox now. Just pushes off Fox. Gets it out to Peter Hill. Peter Hill, three-point attempt. Makes it! All tied up at the Newcastle Sports Centre, David Centre. Yes, a uh, nine-point turnaround in this uh, quarter. So good... Uh, Good performance. The defence has been very good by Newcastle. They've put pressure on Brisbane right throughout this quarter. Rucker really hasn't had a giant influence on the match so far. Fox has the shot. 
and he can't make it. The Falcons a chance now 20. with 20 seconds left to go in at halftime, incredibly, in the lead. James Bullock now, 19 seconds left on the clock. He's calling the shot to Chris Dill, 15. They can really wind this clock down. Lazard with the ball, gives it to Peter Hill. Has a look at the clock, eight seconds left. Michael Johnson, seven seconds. Two point attempt off the glass, can't make it. Lazard, Moore picks it up. Two seconds left on the clock, throws it out of bounds. And at half time here, you can't get much closer than 53 apiece. What a second quarter by the Falcons. That was a little better. Unbelievable. What was it at quarter time? It was uh, nine points down. 26-35. Uh, they go live every Saturday night now. Even their home games. Yep. So at half time here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre, the Brisbane Bullets 53, the Newcastle Falcons 53. Who would have thought about it? Yes, uh, good effort coming back uh, in that second quarter. Newcastle plays for good defence, Dave. Yes, certainly did, and uh, they came out and did exactly what Brisbane did to them in the first quarter. They came out and attacked them defensively. We'll see if they can do that the second half here. Bullock has the shot, 62% in the first half. Looking at the statistics there, 61-39 in the second quarter, which was uh, the reason that Newcastle got back into the game. Uh, for the game overall, Falcons 57 to the Bullets 46. Rebounds, an advantage to the Falcons, 20 to 10. Turnovers, uh, 12 to 7 to the Falcons. Assists, 8 to 6. And steals, 2 to the Falcons, 5 to the Bullets. So the Bullets uh, through Robert Sibley go to a lead of 255-53. Bullock with the ball now. There's the high scorers for the first half with Bullock's an excellent 22 points at 62 percent. Hill nine points while for the Bullets more 17 and Ruck up 15. Well, if you're ever going to see a slam dunk that's any value, have a look at this one from Greg Lazard. Bullock drives Lazard over the top. Thanks oh, yeah. for coming. Just about ripped the basket down, didn't he? And Bullock. Rolls it off for two. So the Falcons have hit the front. Crowds come alive. 57-55. Unbelievable stuff from the Falcons. Stone Look, Motherless on the National Basketball League. Ladder, the Brisbane second. And the Falcons really making a game of it tonight. Moore can't get it. James Carr gets the rebound. Dave Ankeny, I don't know uh, what the Falcons have done during the week, but they're a vastly different side. Well, Greg Lazard, in about the last 30 seconds, has had one super dunk, one block shot, one rebound in a great outlet, and another two points. So he certainly has come out fired up. Rucker gives it off to Sibley. Robert At Sibley. the other end of the court, he gets two, as we watched that replay before. So were well, the Falcons in front by 259-57. Brian Curl uh, would be hoping for a lot easier 300th game of the National Basketball League than he's getting. The young Falcons taking him on. Big reject by Moore. Picks the ball up. On the four on one. Rucker now. Peter Hill foul. And Rucker will go to the line to shoot a couple. Peter Hill puts out the hand and drags Derek Rucker up. Had no alternative there really than to... Uh, four on one situation. It was... Uh, <laughs> No win situation for Peter Hill. There's the replay now. With a good reject there by Andre Moore. So Derek Rucker, who really has established himself as the superstar of 1990, in 12 games he's won the most valuable player award. It's 10 from 11 from the, th from the uh, free throw line tonight. You can see with his record there, it normally averages 82%, which is excellent percentage. Makes the second. Full court press. Hill for the Falcons. Car now. Props. Gives it out to James Bullock. Three point attempt from James Bullock. He can't make it. Nearly got the rebound. Michael Johnson picks it up. She'll get two from there. Misses. Tapped away. Rucker picks up the ball. Dances out quickly. Gives it off to Sibley. Sibley taking on Lazard. Gets it back to Rucker. Three point attempt. He hasn't hit from, from there tonight. 
Pops it up again. Johnson, he can't get a hand to it. Fox finally picks it up and gives it to the uh, legend, Leroy Loggins. And he says, we'll steady it down, boys. Fox inside to Moore. Moore taking on Lazard. Falls away with the jumper. Can't make the two. Bullock with a big rebound. Picked up by Loggins. He puts it away. And the bullets are back in front, 61-59. Yeah, persistent effort there by Brisbane. Paid off with uh, Loggins, Sibley and Andre Moore doing a good job as we see uh, Ken Cole call a timeout for Newcastle. 8.54 left on the clock in the third term. The Bullets by two, 61.59. Not your bad. Three rebounds that we should have had. When it is loose, when it is on the floor, when it comes off the board, it must be our ball. You've got to, hey, don't reach for it like pussycats. Get after it like madmen. Fight for everything. Get both hands on it and grab it. And then get down there and punish them. But give up no more. No more on that board. Give them nothing. Let's go. Ken Cole uh, extolling the virtues that you must grab those defensive boards, Dave Ankeny, and uh, they missed three, which were costly. What did Brian Curl have to say in that timeout? Oh, oddly enough, Brian Curl thought that. Uh, his players should be hitting the offensive boards. He wants them. He thinks that they're spectators at the moment. And they should be chasing the ball. Um, defensively, he wants them to, to deny the ball constantly. He he let the Falcons go back door, but he doesn't want them getting the ball easy. Bullock now makes two. It's 26 points to Bullock. So he's only 1.5 away from his uh, yearly average. 27.5 points per game he's averaging this year. Loggins. Simply trying to set the screen for Loggins. Ooh. Looks inside to Rucker. Goes outside to Fox. Fox inside to Moore now. Takes on Lazard. Lazard wasn't in position. Moore gets the two points. Good refereeing to uh, let that flow. Bullock now. Well, we certainly have seen the versatility of James Bullock. Not only does he does scoring in the rebound, but... Uh, we found him all night long bringing the ball up against the press. Bullock shoots, can't make it, tapped away by Loggins. And I'd say by the end of the night, Dave Ankeny, if uh, Robert Sibley stays with him, Sibley's going to be an awfully tired man at the end of the match. Yes, I'd agree with that one. He certainly has work cut out for him. James forced that one up there, though. Not a good shot the last time down. Peter Hill had plenty of time to really set himself then. Rucker gets the rebound. Gets it out to Fox. Fox thought about the shot, got inside the paint. Big reject by Greg <laughs> Lazard. Peter Hill. Peter Hill goes all the way from the line, throws up an ordinary shot. And Lazard oh. is in there for the offensive rebound. But I think that he's absolutely hammered Leroy Loggins into the ground. Oh, let's what? have a look at that action. As uh, Greg Fox takes the left hand drive to the basket, and uh, Lazard comes from nowhere, ball on upward flight, so uh, no problems there. And a sensational play there by the big man. Well, if we had have seen to, if that action had have flowed on, Lazard was up the other end in a flash to try and get the offensive rebound. And the Falcons are going to inbound. Yes, there was a lot of scrambling down the other end, and uh, Lazard certainly quick down the court. James Carr. Peter Hill slips, but finally gets it back out to carry. He nearly makes a meal of it. Lazard calling for the ball. Carr drives all the way to the hole. He can't make it and gets the charging foul. Yeah, silly play by uh, James Carr. Fence there. So Leroy really has taken a battering tonight, but he's uh, stood his ground. Again here, and uh, I mean, Loggins is standing there for five minutes and uh, Carr straight into the top of him. <laughs> Leroy's been most <laughs> of the night in the ground. <laughs> he's got him a few bruises. Well, Rucking he out. knows he's in the game. If you're, in, if you're in, up on the court a few times during the night, you know you've been playing basketball. Tapped away by Lazard that time, and certainly a uh, Brisbane Bullets uh, inbound. Chris Steele ready to come into the game. I'm sure he'll be in for uh, James Carr. You can just sense uh, this buzz in here. There's still a pretty good crowd in uh, for a team that is running uh, at the bottom of the uh, ladder. Sibley, he can't get it, but he gets the offensive rebound. Got hammered by uh, Peter Hill, but still gets the two points. And the uh, the buzz is a, a real uh, expectation here tonight because the Falcons have really turned it on. 6.50 left in this third term. Bullets by four, 65-61. Here's the full court press by uh, Brisbane. 
go. Peter Hill brings that ball up easily. Hill now. Just hands it off to Johnson. Johnson to Lazard. The free throw line has the shot. It drops. Swisher from Greg Lazard. Eight points to Lazard. Fox. Fox gets around Chris Dill. Gets it back to Andre Moore at the uh, high post. Now uh, Loggins with the ball. Gets it back to Fox. Fox. Moore. Quick hands. Sibley wasn't watching. Bullock now. Tries to get it out. Controls the ball well. And by G, that was close to uh, touching the line there. Gives it off to Chris Dill. Gets it to Peter Hill. Hill now. To Lazard. Lazard trying to get around more. Hook shot. Won't make it. Bullock in there with the offensive rebound. Foul on Sibley. Bullock will go to the line to shoot a couple. Yes, uh, excellent rebound there by James Bullock. Uh, shows why he's one of the, uh, well, the leading rebounder in the league as we see uh, Greg Lazard take the drive. A little left-hand hook shot. Uh, not a bad shot, but Bullock's in there beautifully uh, anticipating that rebound. Anticipates the ball very well, Dave Ankeny. Yes, the one thing I like about James, he's so quick off his feet. He's not really big, uh, well, he's a big man, but he's not really big by NBL standards. But he's just so quick in his jump that he gets the ball first so many times. This is with the first free throw, and you can see uh, James Bullock, 1990, uh, averaging 56% from the free throw line. So, uh, puts that one down. Only a point in at 65-64, the Bullets lead. 5.50 left in this third term. Peter Hill, I think, has done an excellent job on Derek Racker so far tonight as Racker tries for the hole that time and gets two. That's the first real time, and that's a silly foul by Chris Dill. Yes. He really just did push Derek Racker out of the way, and that's Chris Dill's uh, fourth personal. Watch the uh, replay here again with Derek Racker making the drive for the basket. Uh, very, very quick, and uh, 15, Chris Dill, you can see, just pushes Racker off. I mean, that's right in front of the referee and, uh, <laughs> and Jeff Mikulev had no hesitation saying uh, steal eh? And that's the amazing part about it he complained to the referee about the call. <laughs> yes yeah, so that's a bit of an experience Terry as we know um, losing his call a little bit. And a tech foul called on the bench and coach Ken Cole coming on the court to uh, remonstrate with Jeff Mikulev and now Dennis Kibble having a little chat. 5.40 left in this third term. The Bullets by three, 67-64. So, uh, technical foul there on uh, Coach Carl, which gives uh, Brisbane back the ball. Not a good uh, idea at this stage of the game. So Leroy misses. Makes the second and the Bullets will uh, get the ball back. So Loggins will inbound for the Brisbane Bullets. They lead by four. To Sibley. Fox calls for the ball. Now to Loggins. Fox, top of the key. Inside to Moore. Moore getting around Lazard. Oh, and yes. a block shot by Greg Lazard. He's having a blinder tonight. Moore to Loggins. Three point attempt. Makes it Leroy Loggins. And they stretch their lead to seven now. But what a block shot by Greg Lazard. Peter Harvey now. Trying to take them on. James Bullock. Dishes off to uh, Peter Hill. Gets it back to James Bullock. He's giving Robert Sibley the run around tonight. Drops, shoots, makes two. No, it doesn't. Lips out. Derek Rucker picks up the rebound. Just takes it back at his own casual pace. Great ball skills to Fox. Fox inside to Sibley. Better play from the Bullets. Better movement of the ball. Rucker now. Tremendous skills. Throws it up short. Rebound by Bullock. He tries to break out. Lazard takes it. Bit worried about his ball handling capabilities. Michael Johnson throws it up. Overshoots. Harvey picks it up. Gets inside uh. the paint. Throws it straight off Robert Sibley's head. James Bullock got a hand on it and Bullock's will inbound. Let's have a look at Lazard's fifth block shot for the night. There he is up high. Andre Moore. Uh, plenty of height in that shot but Lazard was up there as we see... Uh, Andre Moore getting two points at the other end, 
So they've got that uh, out to 10 now. And timeout called by the Newcastle Aussie Tapes Falcons. 4.18 left in this third term. The Bullets have come back. They lead 73-64. Get to be back here in about a month's time, the 25th of August, for the home game against the Adelaide 36ers. Well, I thought uh, Newcastle lost their cool a little bit in that uh, last few minutes. A technical foul there by Ken Cole uh, gave uh, Brisbane the ball back, and uh, they've opened up a nine-point lead. So obviously they've got to get back into the game, start playing that tough defensive uh, pressure as we go down and listen to see what uh, Brian Curl's got to say. Rob, try and push Bullock to the side and then come back to the middle in there, all right? Hey, we've got to help Rob at that now, all right? We're going to push him to the sideline out here now. Don't want him come back to the middle. With that defence, hey, boards as well. Dre, you've got to get a better job on the boards for me. Both ends, Leroy, Rob, same thing out there. Get after those boards, both ends. Come on, let's go. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Brian Curl, Dave Ankeny, uh, still very, very keen to uh, try and push James Bullock to the side, but he's also concerned that they aren't grabbing the boards that they should be. Well, well Coach Cole, um, he wants his players to uh, full court press from the word go. He's not going. He said, "Look, we got 16 minutes of basketball. Let's go out and full court press the whole time. We're nine down, but let's get back in this game." And what the Falcons need now? They just need a couple of baskets. They've been playing very well, and they've been really trying very, very hard. So a couple quick baskets, see them back in the game. Oh, Rucker, absolutely brilliant. Just changed his pace so well. Harvey quickly to James Bullock. He'll slam this one away and that's it. Two for two. 29 points. Well, there's Bullock's to drive. Very, very quick. No one in uh, front of him. Makes the two. Magnificent acceleration from Derek Rucker. There's 21 points for the match. Sibley. And he's done that quietly. Loggins now turns on Michael Johnson. Good defence, Michael Johnson. Tapped in by Andre Moore. Andre Moore. Good battle between Lazard and Andre Moore tonight. Shooting percentage, Falcons 50%. Bullets 52. It's a high quality match. Peter Hill. You wouldn't think there is such a vast difference on the ladder between these two teams the way they've gone at it tonight. James Bullock. Bullock taking on Sibley again. Good defence by Robert Sibley. Bullock is forced to fall away with a jumper and makes it. Having a look at the scoreboard by quarters. Yes, so Newcastle uh, trailed by nine points at quarter time, 26-35. Went into the half with uh, 53 all, and now trailing 68-77 with 2.53 remaining in the third quarter. Rucker. Moore. Nearly intercepted by Peter Harvey. Shot by Fox. Short. Oh, Lazard with a big rebound. Said that's mine. Harvey now. Takes on Fox. Gets it to Hill, to Johnson, tapped away by Loggins. Good defence by Leroy Loggins. Michael Johnson and Loggins have had a good battle tonight too. So Johnson's been contained, I think. Lazard, to Hill, taking on Derek Rucker. Forced to throw it off the pass and makes two, Peter Hill. Back to a seven-point gap, the bullet 77-70. Just over two left in this third term. And a foul by Peter Hill. He's reaching in there. Poor defensive position. That's four uh, team fouls, so uh, Newcastle can't afford to foul again in this last uh, couple of minutes. High score margins. Uh, when uh, Newcastle led by four when the score was 59-55, Brisbane led by 13 when the score was 28-15. Fox to Loggins. Screen set by Sibley. Goes the other way as Leroy pushes off Michael Johnson. Overshoots. Moore with a big offensive rebound. Oh. Tapped away by Lazard again. Only to Sibley and he gets the two. <laughs> But Lazard having a, that was a big defensive game. Then. It was uh, unfortunate that uh, Sibley was backing up uh, more in the rebounding situation. Johnson now. Loggins doing a great job. Forced to shoot. Michael Johnson can't make it. Bullock went for the dunk. Johnson gets a second by to Jerry and gets two. Eight points to Michael Johnson. James Bullock remonstrating with Jeff Mikulip, but it won't do him any good. He's got to get back into defensive mode now. Johnson and Loggins go at it. Michael Johnson knows, but he's drawn the foul. And that's the fifth, and Loggins will go and shoot one on one. Hurt his knee there, didn't have position. We can see the replay here again. And Michael Johnson, as you can see, still running and uh, bumps uh, Loggins, so that's a defensive foul. Leroy, the veteran, 261 games, 6,735 points at 25.8. That, as you said, Terry Charlton before, is some record. It's magnificent. Three from four tonight from the line. Make that four from five. 18 points in total. 
gentleman, Leroy Loggins. Shoots a good percentage from the line always. There's the press. Three. Triple team. Lazard gets it. Now it's three on one. Peter Hill gets it to Lazard. And the fouls by Fox. And I think the uh, basket uh, said there, thank goodness for that, because Lazard was going to jam that one away. But he's got to go to the line and throw up a couple of soft ones. He's just about ready to launch himself here, as you can see, with Peter Hill. Uh, I thought he was going to take the three-point there with rebounders underneath. And uh, Greg Fox coming and uh, hitting Lazard on the, the arm. Lazard goes to the line. Well, for all his brute strength, Dave, nice little soft shot. Well, we have a minute and a half here, and uh, the Falcons are going to have to close this gap just a little bit. They're down seven now. They're going to have to close the gap to five, three. They want to have a chance the last quarter because really the pressure's on the Brisbane Bullets. The Falcons know where they're standing in the league. Uh, the Bullets must win if they want to keep their uh, second spot. So the pressure's really on Brisbane at this stage. Rucker gets it out to Loggins. Plenty of time for the shot. Can't make it. Bullet slips over. Here's an easy two points for Andre Moore. They don't come every day, and Bullock hit the floor pretty hard. Gets it out to Michael Johnson. Now to Harvey. He tries to get around Rucker. Rucker seems to be able to set up the tempo whenever he likes. Loggins with a shot in the replay. Bullock gets Bullock a good it. rebound, and uh, his foot uh, just slips there, so a little bit, of, a little bit of moisture on the floor. Lazard inside the paint, throws it up, makes the two. Yeah. Greg Lazard started to hit some points in this third term. Ten points in the third. Uh, quarter four Greg Lazard 12 points for the match still seven points the difference with uh, 37 seconds left on the clock so the Bullets have got to throw it up the Falcons will have one scoring opportunity Rucker now three point attempt short again he's been short all night from there Lazard gets the rebound now they've got 23 seconds to take the shot Lazard just pushes Robert Sibley straight into the sponsors box <laughs> and our youngster sitting down there in front that's pretty dangerous territory there and Lazar's built like a man mountain. He just pushed it off. Here it is again. That's the uh, replay here again with uh, Loggins missing with uh, an easy shot. Uh, Lazar gets the rebound. A little bit of elbow with uh, Sibley there. And gets the ball away. Michael Must John stop Brisbane here. Michael Johnson at the other end hit a three-pointer. Four seconds left. Loggins now. One second left. Can he get the shot away? Does so. And scores the basket. Brilliant play, Leroy Loggins. So at three-quarter time here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre, a humdinger. The Bullets lead, 85-79. It's a good contest anyway. Yeah. Let's hope they can win tonight. All right. You better hop down the stairs for the last one. No, hop, hop down, back in your seat. There's a couple of big defensive efforts, aren't there? Oh. A couple of big efforts. <laughs> Like on tonight's performance, you'd nearly ask Greg Lazard to stay. <laughs> 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 nearly. Uh, do you want us, want us to do the uh, Man of the Match Awards, Rich? During this last term? Well, don't worry about it. Yep. Let's have a look at the uh, last shot in that third quarter. Leroy Loggins just uh, counting the clock down, Terry, and he did it like a master. Yes, yeah, only a couple of seconds to play, and uh, it can be cruel to... Uh, the team when that shot goes down. Of course, we welcome our viewers in Brisbane who are watching this uh, match, I'm sure, with uh, a little bit of trepidation at this stage as we go into the last term for our Newcastle viewers. Don't forget our Man of the Match award. 
We want you to pick the man of the match tonight and send your entry to Man of the Match Competition, P.O. Box 818, Newcastle 2300. And there's plenty to choose from tonight from either side. Dave Ankeny, there's been some brilliant performances. Yeah, so I'll tell you what, this is probably the hardest game tonight uh, so far, unless we see a blinder from someone in the last quarter. But I would say this is the hardest game to pick the man of the match that we've seen all year. That, bloke Although that man there, Greg Lazard's had a blinder, so uh, he certainly is in contention tonight. Yes, he scored 14 points, but uh, picked up a lot of uh, rebounds. And a few block shots, and he's really intimidated tonight, Terry. Uh, I've been really impressed with his defense tonight. Sibley, got a great ball from Fox. Gets the two, and we'll go to the line to add the extra. So it's going to be very crucial in this uh, final term that the Falcons uh, stay on line with their fouls because there's a couple in trouble. Chris Dill's on four, Peter Harvey's on four, Carr has three, and Bullock has three. Well, one point that Coach Cole made at the uh, break there was he said uh, fouls are irrelevant. And I have to tend to agree with him, and I think that's a pretty good call that uh, you can't play um, cautious now. This is the money end of the game, and if you foul out, well, you foul out. Get out and have a go. Still with the ball. Gets it out to Bullock. Bullock and Sibley have had a great battle tonight. To Hill. Good defence by Fox. There's the stats there with uh, Falcon shooting 53% to the Bullets 44. Rebounds, uh, good advantage there to Falcon, 31-22. Excellent by Lazard and Bullock. Fox gets the uh, rebound. James Bullock forced to take the shot there. Ruckus now steps up the pace. Gets around Peter Hill brilliantly. Lazard with another sensational rebound. Reject. Hill did well to get the ball back in play. Johnson now gives it down to Bullock. Oh, that's unbelievable. Peter Hill, three-pointer, ten, short. Lazard uh, can't get the offensive rebound. Moore did well. Fishes off to Leroy Loggins. Moore in space. Thanks for coming. Someone a bit slow getting back there. That uh, not good play by the Falcons there. Someone's a bit slow getting back. Let's What's have a look at this recheck to Greg Lazard. He's got plenty of ball. Uh, looked like he got a bit of body in there, but uh, referee Bignall said play on. Still intercepted by Leroy Loggins. Just taps it out and the Falcons will inbound. Eight points the difference. The Bullets lead, 89-81. They certainly know they've been in a ball game. Peter Hill tries to get around Fox. Dishes out to uh, James Bullock. Cole calling move to his players. Lazard tries to set the screen. Bullock inside the paint, can't make it. Michael Johnson with the offensive rebound. Off the glass for a couple. 13 points to Johnson. Quite impressed with the referees tonight because Dave, they've let some of these uh, tough body shots go and play the advantage. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, Mike. That's uh, basketball is not a, uh, although it's called a non-contact sport, it certainly is. And uh, the, the referees have done a good job tonight. They let them play basketball. Loggins, screen set by Sibley, three-point attempt. Leroy can't make that one. Bullock now with a rebound to Peter Hill. Hill takes on Fox once again. Gives it to Michael Johnson. Johnson tapped away by uh, Greg Fox. Good defence, three on one. Fox now gives it to Sibley. Sibley gets the two. And just those uh, little turnovers by the Falcons have proved costly tonight on more than uh, the odd occasion. Sibley's been quietly efficient with uh, 22 points. Bullock takes on Moore, gets around Moore and gets the two. Great skills. Great move there, great pass. Great take by James Bullock and a great move to the basket. I think James thought he should have been uh, at the foul line after that shot as well. Six points the difference, the Bullets lead. Fox to Rucker. Rucker only shooting about 38% tonight. Gives it off to Fox, plenty of time to have the shot. Can he make it? It does drop for him. That's Fox's uh, first points for the basket for the game. Full court press by the Bullets. Now they uh, go back to the defensive end of the court and allow James Bullock to bring it up. Loggins, a little switch there with Sibley. Chris Dill, Peter Hill has the two-point attempt, makes it. And Derek Rucker uh, gave uh, Peter Hill a little bit of acknowledgement there. He said, good play. One thing that I've been impressed with Derek Rucker all night, he hasn't uh, argued, hasn't even shown any emotions, just got on with the game. Rucker with the ball now. Has the shot, will he turn it on now? Can't buy a basket at the moment. Actually, my good uh, sportsmanship between Rucker and uh, Peter Hill tonight. Uh, they've been battling and hit, hit head on, and uh, they, we've seen them help each other off the floor a few times. Oh, yes! Holy mother of 
by Moses. Greg Lazard, is he on fire or what? As Brian Curl calls timeout, here it is again. Bully has the shot, gets over the Sibley. Here comes the Man Mountain and just dribbles it in. Sensational stuff from Greg Lazard. 7.43 left in the match, and we've got a ball game on our hands. Offense, don't, don't ever be lazy. Don't ever take the open jump shot purely because you're too tired to penetrate all the way. Attack them. Take them to the basket. Force them to play against you. Force them to play against you. If they're going to make the shot, you make them make it from the goddamn line or make a 20 footer with a hand in their face. Let's ball. Let's push, 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 push. Come on. Push. I think it's uh, not too hard to figure out. You don't have to be honest on to figure out Cole's comments. We go back to that replay and have a look at the athleticism of Greg Lazard. No, and the top one, Ray Moore, which uh, made it all more of the impressive because uh, Andre Moore is a good rebounder as Newcastle putting the full court press on as Ken Cole wanted. Rucker now, just slowing things down a little bit. To Fox. Fox, nowhere to go. Got it out to Loggins. Now Sibley, good defence by Bullock. They jam him up. Rucker, Peter Hill's done a great job on Rucker so far tonight. Rucker has the shot, can't make it again. And they force the uh, turnover and Bullock gets the rebound. Brian Kill, a little bit of a worried man at the moment. They only lead by four. That's the shooting percentage. Falcons 53 to Bullets 46. Takes the drive. Makes the two, James Bullock. As you were saying, Dave Ankeny loves to go from the hoop, for the hoop from that position. Yes, very quick. And I've mentioned this a couple of times. Very, very quick for a big man. More. Oh, wasn't, time wasn't, time. wasn't expecting that one. Oh, beautiful pass inside to Fox. Had nowhere to go. Three second call on uh, Fox Sibley. <laughs> it's a two point ball game. So they move it around. The Falcons now with a chance to tie it up or even take the lead. Michael Johnson's been fairly quiet tonight. Great defensive job by Leroy Loggins. Bullock and Lazard having blinders. Falls away with a jumper. Can't make it. Fox gets the easy rebound. They haven't been in this position for a long time, the Falcons. So uh, when it gets down to the clutch here, maybe they uh, might start to panic a little bit. That was probably an unorthodox shot there from James Willick to take that without defensive players in there. Moore rolls it off, gets two. Andre Moore, 29 points. There's the press. Terry, a lot of the Bullets players have scored uh, heavily tonight, but they've done it uh, fairly quietly. Yes, they certainly have. Uh, Rob Sibley with 22. Uh, Moore with 25. Rucker with 21. Lazard. Looked to be a bit of a walk there from Lazard. Falls away with a little jumper and makes two. That's two up. point ball game. 18 points to Lazard. Fox now trying to marshal his troops up. Chris Dill crashes into Sibley. Dishes off to Loggins. Lo Moore and uh, Lazard going hammer and tongs. Look at the body contact in there. Lazard, eyes fixed on Moore. Moore turns and that's a great jump shot. Hill now. Hill he turns it over. Good pressure by Rucker. Peter Hill pushes him off. James Bullock. Lazard coming out to set the screen. Peter Hill. Michael Johnson with the ball now for the Falcons. Pushes back on Leroy Loggins. Lazard was there to set the screen. Hill thought about the three-point attempt. Michael Johnson gets it back to Peter Hill. Throws it up now, Peter Hill. That won't be uh, a basket. Chris Dill gets it. Throws it back to Johnson. Surely he can't throw it from there. Although I thought he was going to throw it up for a moment. Hill now to Chris Dill. Inside to James Bully. Good move. Gets around Sibley. Falls away with a jumper and can't make it. Ball with a rebound. Non-stop action here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre. We've got four and a half minutes left in the match. Rucker now. Big screen set by Moore, allowing Rucker in. Just has the little shot and makes it. Six point different. Brian Curl on the, the floor for the first time tonight. He's been fairly patient with his troops, but he senses some urgency here that they're not out of the woods here by any means. Hill to Bully. Well, Newcastle would like to certainly see Mike Johnson get a hot skull here. He hasn't really uh, had a hot hand tonight. And we know that that's what he's capable of. So a couple of good shots from Mike would certainly go well for the Falcons. Ten yes. second buzz is gone. Michael Johnson now fires it up. Can't make it. No basket, of course. 
and the Falcons get it from the side. 4.04 left in the match. The Bullets, 99-93. Yes, uh, Ken Cole realising uh, that uh, team's trailing by six points. He's got to uh, get the team back in the game, so he's called a timeout to try and fire them up. Play good, uh, tight, tough defence. We look at the foul situation there with uh, James Bullock, number 13, on four fouls. He can only take one uh, more foul. Chris Steele, Peter Harvey. So a little bit of foul trouble there for the Falcons. Let's go down and listen to what Brian Kill's got to say. Hey, block out, fellas. That's the important thing. Block out and get up those defensive boys. Come on, got to work harder. Got to work harder. Well, Terry Charlton, uh, steady heads at this business end of the game could be the deciding factor yes, tonight. This is what basketball is all about, and uh, Newcastle come into full court press, putting the pressure on Fox. Nice little handoff, and Andre Moore gets an easy shot underneath the basket. What did Coach Ken Cole have to say in that timeout, Dave Ankeny? Coach Cole, in that time out, he said discipline. That's the main word he used that time. He wants his players to be smart here in the last four minutes, and I think they'll be looking for Mike Johnson, who now just takes a nice three-pointer that no! doesn't connect. Ball gets the rebound. Fox now. Three and a half minutes left in the match. Rucker. Tries to get around Peter Hill. Peter Hill's done a sensational job on Rucker tonight. Chris Steele gets the foul. And that will be his lot for the ball game. And Rucker will go to the line to shoot a couple. Chris Steele bringing up his fifth personal. Peter Harvey will come into the game. Uh, Chris Steele. And not terribly happy young Chris Steele. But he's tried hard. But Rucker just uh, a little bit too brilliant on that occasion. Forced the foul. We'll go to the line now to shoot a couple and try and stretch this Brisbane Bullets lead. Chris Steele finished with six. 11 from 12 so far this evening. Derek Rucker. That team shooting uh, high percentages for their free throws compared to earlier season. Makes the first. And they lead by 10, the Brisbane Bullets. Go into a full court press. Now they back off. James Bullock. Bullock on four fouls. Simply trying to force the extra. Screen trying to be set there by Peter Hill. They turn it over. James Bullock remonstrates, but he should be back there trying to uh, affect some defence. Sibley, that's, that's a travel. Harvey, Michael Johnson. Bullock was in space. Now he's got to try and get around Loggins. Does so with a brilliant move, James Bullock. That's, that's his move that uh, Dave Ankeny mentioned before. It's a brilliant move along the baseline. Under three minutes to go. The Bullets lead 103.95. Loggins. They need some turnovers quickly, the Falcons. Loggins just trying to uh, milk the clock. Gets a brilliant ball to Sibley. On to Rucker. Double team on Rucker. That's for three seconds and the Falcons will inbound. Harvey quickly to Bullock. Bullock now has to slow uh, play down. Gets it to Peter Hill. Fires up for three. Peter Hill makes it. 103, 97, 98 it is. High points the difference. And a couple of those could turn the game quickly. Yes, a lot of excitement here. It's been an excellent game. Good pressing defence by both teams. Up tempo game. And I'll tell you, Falcons, great effort. It's been very easy for them to uh, throw in the towel after last week's loss, but they haven't given away anything tonight. And I'll tell you what, I congratulate them on the effort. Michael Johnson looked to have plenty of hand on that, but the foul's been called by Jeff Mikolev, and Leroy Loggins will go to the line to shoot a couple. Yes, I think he had a good hand on the ball, but uh, it's a bit of body contact. Terry, there's been a lot of body contact tonight. I uh, don't agree with that call, that one. So with 2.14 left on the clock in the match, the Bullets by five. Loggins to try and stretch that. And makes the first. Yes, pressure player, Leroy Loggins. 22 points for the match. 
The money man, six, six from seven, seven tonight. Make that seven from eight, that makes the Falcons' job a little bit harder. Just over two minutes left in the match. Rucker nearly turns it or affects the turnover. Peter Hill did well, uh, Harvey did, did well to get it back. Lazard with the ball now. This is off to Harvey. Tries to get around Rucker, does so. Can he go all the way, the little fella? No, he can't. Just backs out, gives it off to Michael Johnson. Gives it into James Bullock. Ten second buzzer goes. Big reject by Andre Moore. Sibley picks up the rebound. Fair bit of uh, acting there by Peter Harvey. And fair call, I thought. That's uh, five team fouls, so that'll be a shooting situation. Peter Harvey on the ground. Doesn't like it. What's the uh, James Bullock move here? And uh, Andre Moore got a nice reject. Plenty of hand on that ball. So Peter Harvey... Uh, that's the lot for him tonight, getting a good hand from this big crowd in here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre. 148 left in the match. The Bullets, 105-98. So Ken Cole about to bring James Carr into the match. Derek Rucker will go to the line to shoot a couple. So Rucker to shoot one and a one. 13 from 14 from the line tonight. And makes the first. 86% team percentage, Mike, so that's very, very good. 26 points for the match, Rucker. Hasn't shot a good percentage from the field, but uh, certainly from the free throw line, been very, very efficient. This is the second. Lazard. Eight points in it. 144 left in the match. Falcons certainly have to get the ball up quickly. They can't afford to run an offense. They've got to get the ball up and hope to hit a couple. James Carr now. Gives it to Lazard. Gets it back to Carr. They've got to shoot it soon. Bullock now gets around Sibley. Goes to the hole. Gets it off the glass. That's a great two. 39 points to Bullock. 120 left in the match. Six points in it. Fox with the ball. Gets around Carr. Carr pushes off him. Ball with the ball. Dishes off to Leroy Loggins. Brisbane. Loggins calling the shots. I want to uh, play down the clock. I realise there's only a certain number of shots left in the game. Rucker did brilliantly to gather that one in. Gives it off to Moore. They turn it over. Michael Johnson now. Great Green hands brings from Frank Lazard there. That was uh, his steal. He got a piece of the ball. James Carr thought Michael Johnson had plenty of time to fire up for three. They need a couple of threes in a hurry. Bullock, will he have three? Fires it up for three. Makes it! Three-point ball game. 45 seconds left in the match. Fox. Simply with the ball. Loggins. This is not over by any means. 38 seconds left in the match. So they've got to stop Brisbane scoring here and then fire up for three. Rucker. What a foul, Peter Good Hill. defense by Peter Hill. 29 seconds left in the match. Rucker calling the shots. Hill the defensive man on Rucker. They've really manned up well, the Falcons. Rucker just playing it down. Has the drive now. Has a big recheck by Greg Lazard. But the foul's being called. That's Brian Curl on his feet, calling for a timeout. Well, we've had a sensational ball game here tonight. Coach Brian Curl in his 300th National Basketball League game as a coach calls timeout. We've got 16 seconds left in the match, and there's only three points in it, but Brisbane are at the line. Back into a 50 now, all right. Don't want to foul them. All right, got them back into a 50. Derek, I want the ball in your hands. Foxy, you just clear out. Lee takes it out of bounds. All right. Rob, you just bust back. We need a release pass there. Dre, you just get off down the other end, okay? They're going to get all over us. They're going to foul us every time now. But the ball in Derek's hand or Leroy's hand as much as possible now. Stop all right, hey. Anyway, We've got to make these up. two. Let them use that yeah. clock up. Yeah. All right. Fellas, up, this up. game is far from over. Don't take it easy it's out there. It, All right. Right. Come on. Don't, Don't let it it. It. No, no foul. foul. Well, let's have a look at that uh, last play. Here's Rucker with the ball. He drives in. Lazard gets airborne. Certainly gets plenty of hand on the ball, but uh, hit uh, the body fairly hard. Put him off the shot. 
So Derek Rucker will go to the line to uh, shoot a couple. There's only 16 seconds left in the clock. And the way that uh, Rucker has been fir firing them from the uh, charity line tonight, you can just about make that a five point gap. Rich now he needs to score with one uh, shot, Mike, to put this game out of reach. And makes it. That'll be the ball game. So Rucker now. Fires up the second one. Makes it a five point gap. Lazard. They just about need to throw it from there. Peter Hill quickly down the court. 12 seconds left in the match. Michael Johnson, good defence. He throws up the three pointer. And makes it incredible. Seven points left in the match. There's two points in it. Anything can happen. Rucker will score the easiest of two points here, or will he? He'll milk it down. And that's the ball game. But a magnificent basketball game here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre. Congratulations to the Brisbane Bullets. A fitting reward for coach Brian Curl, who has spent a lifetime in the game. Commiserations to Ken Cole, they're great mates, but what a performance turned on by the last place Newcastle Falcons tonight. But in the end, the bullet's just a little bit too strong, and they run out winners by two points, 108-106. Well, bugger me. It's a good, good game, isn't it? Great game. Excellent. Hey?